Hey everybody, welcome back. It's now morning of day 7, and I've been crafting all night a whole bunch of stone axes. Our tool smithing is almost level 10, and it will be when these are done, so that'll be great. Perfect, so now our level 10 tool smithing is in action. Let's take a look and see what skills we can buy real quick here. Construction tool crafting, we'll buy that, so now we can actually make the wrench. We did last episode, we did find the claw hammer. So that was awesome, really good. Uh, just let me do this real quick. I've already slept in, and bathed, so we're good to go on that. Uh, I, basically last night, while, I was, while it was dark out, and there's no zombies around because we managed to clear out the area really nicely, I managed to farm up a whole bunch of stone, and I'll tell you the best way to do it is off these piles, off of the, the stone rubble. These give you quick stone real fast, and I was farming over in that little broken down area over there. There's a bunch of stone piles there that you can easily get. But yeah, today is basically prep for the Horde Knight. Now I'm not 100% sure how I want to handle the Horde Knight yet. I've been debating whether or not I want to tackle them or not. And actually be out here running around with them. So if I do decide to do that, I'm going to place down a whole bunch of spikes and get prepared that way. If I want to stay in the building and just kind of hide, then that's another option. See, one of the issues is I don't have any lighting set up yet, so maybe... Today we'll just spend some time and prepare everything that we can. So I'll get some candles made up and we'll place them all out here on the street so we have something to see. I don't want to use my mining helmet because if you run... Well, actually, you know what? That's... that's. Uh, I was going to say if you use the mining helmet they can see you no matter what. But the Horde Knight, they can, they're feral so they can detect you 100% of the time. So I guess that's kind of a, a moot point. So I guess we could use the mining helmet as well. Now you might be wondering why I place these out here on the street rather than around the building. Well, I do plan on putting it around the building, but I think the street is more important because that's where I'm going to be running around battling them, trying to get them to at least cripple themselves. But I don't think it's a bad idea either to uh, put them all around here on the outside edge of the building. That'll help. I'm going to try and get them to spawn on this side. So I think maybe what we'll do is we'll just load up this side of the building only. For now at least. I've only got 20 spikes left so we're going to have to go and farm. But that's okay. We'll put in a time lapse for that. Throw in some music and it'll be nice and relaxing. So yeah, let's go and do that real quick. Let's go and farm up as much uh, wood spikes as we can. Uh, what I should do is maybe before we go and do that is we'll get some tallow so that we can get some torches, some candles. Now hang on one second. I want to see here, what's the best? So we could use animal fat, cloth, and wood for torches. Let's see here, baseball caps, suit pants, that'll probably give us cloth, enough cloth maybe. Uh, it gives us a decent amount. I kind of don't, these are good to sell, so, but I mean businessmen are pretty easy to, to get lots of gear off of. But I do want to make a trip to the trader soon, at some point. So maybe we'll just make up torches. That'll be easy enough, that way I can do it on the fly, I don't have to cook up the animal fat. And yeah, let's just throw in some music here.
take care of the the farming part of uh, grabbing resources anyway. Now, since we've got a whole bunch of these spikes, it's probably best to just start placing them out. I want to line this whole front wall. We'll do that as well. Now I'm going to try and take on the Horde Knight. Since it's only the, the 7 day Horde, I have the best chance to not die. Plus I have grain alcohol, so and I think I've got two of them, which should last the entire night. And I might only just take one of them. And uh, just see how long it take it gets me, how far it gets me. Did we get a tire there? Oh, we did. 78. That's not too bad. Better than nothing. Now, I could have used those... Uh, log spikes and crafted them at the workbench but uh, this will do for the first horde night I think these are just faster and easier for me to to manage and put down right now One thing we don't have is a quick escape. I think that's going to do it for for the spikes that we have. Like, I don't really think we need to put down a whole lot more spikes. So we're pretty well prepared. There's one other thing that I know we got to do. Uh, besides plant all these freaking trees. And that is there's a ladder up here that we got to break the bottom rung out of. Before I can do that, I have to wait till I can craft a, a thing, uh, an axe. So let's go ahead and we'll place these down in the meantime. Looks like it's going to get foggy here and it might start raining. Okay, so give me four of those bad boys. Oh, it does, does it show it? Kind of shows it, the cigar. Excellent. We did manage to get some food too, so that was awesome. Let's go and take out these couple of stragglers here. I want to keep my area cleared. If you stay on top of it and kill the zombies while they appear, it'd be a hell of a lot easier to keep ahead of, keep on top of it, and they don't overrun you. Oh, we're getting really lucky with. Uh, Decaps. Hey, bullets are always welcome. It's probably a good idea to get rid of these so they don't slow me down in any way. I'm a little worried about that pit that I might fall into. I'm a little worried about that, but I know that I, I can jump out of it, so... Yeah, we can at least jump out of it. So it's not too big of a deal. Tires we can run over quite easily. Construction tools is now 13. Maybe we should take a quick look at our skills. But you know what? We'll save that for the Horde Knight. Just in case we don't uh, end up 
fighting them. That'll give us something to go over during the Horde night. But yeah, that's that's awesome. We've got all those spikes down. Can't believe we've managed to get all those spikes crafted and done in that short period of time. Usually the zombies are snakes or after us and I can't really harvest that well until night time comes. We do have lots of wood left over. I could probably craft another, see this is another hundred, but I'm not going to do that many. We're just going to do like 40. There. Good enough. That'll give us at least something to use on our travels if we uh, want to do it that way. If we're out traveling around, we want to take out zombies. We still have yet to loot all of these. We'll probably do that on day 8. Especially now that I found extra food. Because this is basically... I'm going to end up eating all of this uh, by tomorrow morning. But yeah, I've got to finish preparing for the Horde night. I'm going to throw what I can in here for that. And I thought I had a bunch of scrap iron, but I might have already melted that down. And I do need to go get more clay, so we need clay and stuff like that yet. But that'll be a night time. Well, I can't. I can't even... Yeah, we're pretty much, pretty much ready for the horde now. I'll just put those in there for now. I'll end up wearing this. So we have that. Oh yeah, the torches. Let's go place these torches down real quick. This might be a bit of a shorter episode, but... There'll be two short episodes probably in a row. But that's okay, it'll help us get caught back up. There, now I'll actually be able to see... where that hole is, so I don't fall in. I don't know how effective these torches are going to be outside during the night, but they should be better than nothing. Uh, I don't want to put them in my path, because I'm pretty sure I can end up getting stuck on them. Maybe that's good enough. Maybe these ones are a little too far out. Where did they go? Do 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 There they are. Maybe we'll just put them a little closer to where our spikes are so that I can see them at night. But we do have our mining helmet as well to help us out. There. Because yeah, I think you can get stuck on these. Yeah, there's collision on these guys, so... Hopefully the, the horde doesn't smack them and break them. That's fairly well lit up, so... I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.